welcome back to Eastern Plains of Colorado here on McCaffrey Farms. If you're enjoying the channel, all I ask is that you please consider subscribing. We're on our second day of drilling hay. Got started a little later yesterday afternoon. Dad and I are heading down. Got a full tank of fuel. We're gonna take that pickup to the one field. Then we're gonna take this one over to the drills build a tractor up with diesel he's gonna take this pickup back to the Dodge and he's gonna take the Dodge go to the 8960 and finish up disking today he's on his last 160 acres so it won't take him too long I don't know if you can tell but everything's dying really well Milo's starting to get pretty big on these two fields then we got our wheat wheat is looking pretty dang good each day there's a lot less green uh, just kind of waiting on the hillsides and some of the low spots anytime soon Around about the first of July is probably about when we'll start cutting is my guess But everything's looking good here soon. We'll be cutting wheat I'm getting pretty close to being done with this field. I don't have too much more left, maybe 20 acres. But I had to stop real quick because that's not supposed to be like that. What's causing it? Ba bam! Another wheel. Had to do that one. Had to do the other one. So this is the third one today that we have to do. So it'll be four total. So there will only be two more left, those two. So I'm going to take the time right now to go hit those while they're still up, get the lock under them so I don't have to do those two as well. And on all the other fields, I'm just going to start putting the locks down the way you're technically supposed to because it's getting tiring. I mean, these drills are mid-80s model drills, and all this back here is original. And so they're gonna settle, not a big deal. Just gonna have to start putting the locks down each time. That way we're not having to do this because the rest of the fields are all bigger than this one. So considering we've already had to do three, it wouldn't be fun. So I'm just gonna do all of them. Here we go. So first I'm gonna come to these two. This one is still good. So I think if we move it, that one's good now this one looks good as well so push that button in slide it it's good so those two probably wouldn't have fell but I don't want to chance it with 20 acres left and have to do this again so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get this handyman jack this is gonna be hard one-handed I'm gonna take it over there lift that wheel up and then get that lock pushed down. Uh, and that's now good enough, so push this button. And sometimes you gotta get your motivational support. And I think we should be good now. So I'll drop this handyman down. I got the handyman jack down, all six tires, all have the locks under now so if any of them start dragging again something is wrong but i'll get this field finished up pulled up and we'll be able to move to the next one all right i'm heading back to this north end i'm not drilling right now all i have left to do is the turn rows i'm heading down this way so then i can come down back to the south do the first pass here go down do those two turn rows on the west end and then as I come back I'll pick up the last little spot that I need to hit and then I'll come back do the last one here 
and I'll be able to loop out around, fold up, and then go out this driveway over here and head to the next field. So now I'm heading over to this west end. I picked up when I'm going this way because the last drill mark is right there. So I'm basically overlapping about 20 feet and I'd rather go down not planting this first time and come back and plant it. That way I'm not planting it the first time and driving back over it and packing it down even more than it already will be. Just got done, so first things first, we gotta come put these cylinder stops in. Not going too far, but it does not take very long at all for these things to settle. unfold this hitch there's a pin right here that we have to take out set that there undo this bungee cord then we'll put that back once those hoses get back then you pull this hitch out Then you take this pin, put it back in there. Like that. And now that hitch is done. I'll pull a tractor around, back up to here, hook up, do those hoses. And then let these wheels down, put that hitch up, we'll be on the road. All right, first 90 acres done, and we're getting moved on to the next 160. steer got a job set up and went to start this first pass along this edge I don't know how I overlooked this something we literally do every time I forgot to take the stops out we do that every single time we move and for some reason I overlooked it this time at least I didn't make it half the way down the field. I, I just went like 100 feet trying to turn the corner and get it started. So not bad at all. I'm going to take the stops out now. That's much better. They're actually in the ground now. Just doing the first pass here on this field. Um, we're a little worried about this field just because we're, it did have some more cheap grass. We're a little concerned how some of these spots are going to work with the drills. So far I've already went through some spots with a little more cheatgrass and it's been fine. This first pass is a little worse. 
but we'll just have to see how things go. So far it's working good and hopefully we don't have to come back and hit a few spots with the disc again to chew it up better, but we'll see when we get to some of those spots. So I was having a set of press wheels drag and I was trying to get it out. I just got it out. However, there's something else that I have found. I don't know how exactly it happened. Because I haven't backed up or anything to get these caught. And as you can see, they weren't hanging down any. I don't know if they pulled apart or what. But... Poses aren't supposed to look like that. So I guess in the morning, or sometime before we pulled up again, we're gonna have to go uh, get that looked at and get it fixed. And anyways, I got the plug out. I don't know what happened, because it was this set right here, and it's one of the nicest sets we still have, so. Problem. Dad just got here not too long ago. I just got back to this side. So we're gonna do a little bit of switching. We're gonna put the 8960 on these drills. Dad's gonna use this to take the disc back to our neighbor. I assume that's what he's gonna do. I think that's what he said he'd do. But then I'll finish this field, see how much of it I can get done with that tractor. It's good to be getting this tractor off because uh, it does need an oil change. The hours show about 185 but something happened to where the hours got reset a little too soon and so it's right there at it and we need to change it anyways before harvest kind of fighting with these drills a little bit on the spots where the cheat grass didn't work in the best I don't know if you can tell but right in there there's a little bit built up the drills are still planting and it's slowly working itself out and it has been doing that all day in fact it actually just cleared up this is where setting these fields up on the same angle of 90 degrees is coming in handy using the auto steer and I'm getting about right where I disked and right up next to the Milo and it's gonna work out the whole distance just a lot nicer once I get this pass done I'll go back to where I left off with 8400 and go there so in that way uh, it'll work out on this side Thank you for watching.